All right, welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make completely procedural planets. It's a really cool effect and uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So I thought it'd be really interesting. This is mostly done in the shader editor. It's using cycles and it was a really fun one to make. So without further ado, enjoy. So go ahead and delete the default cube and add a sphere. I'm going to be using an icosphere. Just make sure it has a lot of subdivisions because um, because if you don't, it's not going to look very nice. The materials aren't aren't going to look very good. So almost all the work here is going to be done in the shading tab. Um, so just go ahead and add a new material and add a noise texture. So now when we view it, it looks like that. Go ahead and add a color ramp as well. And this is going to be the colors for your planet. So as you can see, as I slide this in, you get more islands like that. So for this first one, I'm gonna want it to be blue. So set this first one to a blue color for the water, or if you don't have water, just any color for your planet. This next one here can be more of a sand color. Bring those real close together. And then, um, then I'm just gonna make this next one a green grass color. You can tweak the scale of the noise texture to change how big your continents are. And I would also turn the detail up. So yeah, just keep adding areas for the color ramps. All right, so once you have this um, colored area figured out, I like to add another blue area that has a lighter blue, just to um, have a nicer looking shoreline. And then also another darker blue. For the deep ocean. Now you're just going to want to duplicate this color ramp and uh, use this for the roughness as well. Except you can delete some of these control points if you don't want that much varying roughness. Turn off the saturation and use this as a roughness map. So go ahead and plug in that noise texture for this and plug this into the roughness. I have a shinier ocean and all the other areas are a lot uh, rougher. Now for more variation, I'm going to add a separate HSV and a combined HSV. So now it's just separating them and then combining them back so it's not doing anything at all. Um, but what I'm going to do is add a Musgrave texture. Go ahead and add a math node and put this in the value socket. Now we can just add this Musgrave texture to that and turn on clamp. Turn down the dimension and turn up the detail and add a color ramp. Put that color ramp there. Just go ahead and adjust it until it looks right to you. So now we have that extra variation. You can see it in these areas. And that's looking pretty good. Now we just want some bump. Add a bump node, plug that into the normal, and add a second noise texture, and plug that into the height. Right now it's not looking too great, but let's uh, go ahead and turn up that scale. I like the number like 300. Just very fine detail, maybe a little bit more. Um, the detail can stay at a pretty low value. You can change the roughness and distortion however you want. I recommend keeping it at the default values. That's the base bump detail, but um, you can use this noise texture to dictate that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a math, switch to multiply, and then plug this into the strength. So I can use the noise texture as the first one. Go ahead and turn on clamp and duplicate this call ramp. So it usually looks better with a little more bump on the ocean areas and a little less on the other areas. All right, so once you have that adjusted how you want it, the planet is looking pretty nice now. Um, there's just a few more things we need to do. We need to use this Musgrave as the other factor to this math node. So go ahead and plug another color ramp into the second value and plug the height of the Musgrave into the color ramp. And just bring this secondary value up to a value that's pretty high and that adds a little extra variation. So yeah, now, now this planet texture is finished, but we're not quite finished with the planet yet. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna duplicate this and bring it back to its original spot. Scale it up very slightly and create a new material. You're gonna want a principal BSDF, a mix shader, and a transparent BSDF. Plug that mix shader into the surface, 
and use the principal BSDF and the transparent as the two sockets for the, for the mix shader. So now go ahead and add a noise texture and view that. So you're going to want the detail to be pretty high and you're also going to want the distortion to be pretty high as well. I recommend a value like 2, some, some high value like that. And you're also going to want a color ramp. Now you can go ahead and add a musgrave texture, a math node, and put these two before this color ramp. Make sure this math node is set to multiply. So you're going to want the scale on this musgrave texture to be pretty low, um, something like 2. I would turn down the dimension and the detail up to something like 8. So now you have all these extra clouds here. So now go ahead and add a color ramp before this for the Musgrave and go ahead and set one of these values to be a little bit lower. And you can tweak those clouds however you want them. Now just go ahead and plug this color into the factor and plug this shader into the surface. Now would be a good time to change it to cycles. Just tweak this main color ramp right here and you should have some pretty nice looking clouds pretty soon here. You can always tweak these textures as well until it looks good to you. So one of the most important things about lighting this is um, going to the world properties and just turning off the background because that gives it a more of a space look. So this outside icosphere right here is not finished. What you want to do is you're going to add a principled volume, plug that into the volume, go to color, switch it to something blue like that, density, whatever you want. But what's most important is the emission and the emission color. So as you can see here, it gives it that nice glow to it that a lot of plants have around them. For the lighting, um, I recommend using a point light like this and just turning up the strength. And then for the render settings, you're going to want to go to color management and set the look to high contrast. So there's your finished planet. Obviously, you don't have to make it look exactly like this. You can make all sorts of different kinds of planets. But this is a really simple method for making them. And yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.